Alright, let us continue. I think we were interrogating some people. Right, I think we presented everything to her. It's time to talk about any mini. Any mini? So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like, what? Like the medium's training, or like how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is the real thing after all. So like I asked if I could stay here for like a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree type, at least on the surface. Mm -hmm. Did you kill the person? What happened? Have you heard about the murder? It's like totally scary. She says with a silly smile plastered on her face. So, do you know anything about it that might help? Hmm. Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. Uh, the victim. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Really? Like, wait, I think you asked about him. Like, yesterday too. That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was... You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? Yeah, see, she panicked. I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like... A long, long time ago, I was like a patient, yeah. Did he cause your neurological problems? That's why you're mad at him? Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? You sent him here, you were a patient apparently. Did you want to take revenge on him? June 20, Fay Manor Winding Way. Is she here? Oh, yep. Hmm. Ack, you, you surprised me. Hmm. And how are you today? Says nothing. Hmm. I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. The key. Well, I'll present to you a, mega, a Megatama. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Mm -mm. Oh, and she's crying. Ack, I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling. So that's, that's Mystic Maya's. It is. Huh? She, she actually spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I uh, worked with Maya. You, you worked with Mystic Maya? You, you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I bet I know who she picked Nick up from. Phoenix. I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Maya's special someone. Oh my god. B -b -b what? Great. So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? B well, yeah, I will. Oh wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale, this fangirling. That earnest look shining in brightly in your eyes, it must be true love. Uh, what? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I am so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, what a wonderful relationship. Red. Wait, I, uh, I mean, we aren't, things aren't like... 
Hee hee, I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Alright, what about my badge? I'm sure it is helpful to you in some way. But I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. I'm really deeply sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I shouldn't have shown you something so trivial anywhere. I am very sorry. This feels so weird talking to a kid like this. What about this map? Okay. Nagatama. So this is... That is Mystic Maya's Magatama. It's one of the most important heirlooms of Korean village. She just gave it to me, huh? Please make sure to take good care of it. Y yeah, I will. Is it really okay for me to have such a priceless object? Probably not. It's me simple clipping. Nope. And what about the hole in the screen? Are you interested in Korean's traditional things too, Mr. Nick? The Korean sacred writings are on this folding screen. Oh, is that is that what's written on it? Actually, what caught my eye was this hole in it. It's a very old screen. So I think that maybe bugs made it by eating through it. Sure doesn't look that way to me. That's what her mother said too. Hmm. I look up to Mystic Maya a lot. She's my role model. She's so smart and pretty and kind and loving. She's always cheerful, never gets sick, isn't picky, and has good sleeping habits. Great. She always wakes up before me and eats, and always eats breakfast before me too. A lot of good qualities, I guess. And she has you with someone. Oh, great. And she has you, someone she can love. Great. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. I get the idea. She really thinks the world of Maya, doesn't she? Yeah. This guy. Huh. I'm sorry, I don't know who this person is. I guess that makes sense. You've never left Korean village after all. I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. I just don't really know anyone outside the village. Alright, this is you. To tell you the truth, I really want to grow my hair out, just like Mystic Maya. But my mother won't let me. Your hair now suits you quite well though, I think. R really? Thank you. Fidget, fidget, great. Fidget, fidget. Incredible. Stop hitting on the girl. Oh well, she thinks you are. Oh, it's my mother. She takes really good care of me and loves me very much. That, that's good. She says I'm the pride of the branch family, but I don't know what that means. Branch family. That concept is probably still too hard for little Pearl. Hmm. What about this lady? So I don't know who this person is. She doesn't know. Gumshoe. Doesn't know anything about Gumshoe. And what about this weird lady? Nope, nothing. Okay, well, we can talk. Pearl. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because you're special to her. Did she tell you this? Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way... This may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I study the Korean technique. Hmm. 
Ah, I get it. No, no, no. I am a lawyer. A lawyer. I guess he's supposed to be Korea, right? And the main game is supposed to be in China, apparently, right? I don't know. Lawyer? Yep. That related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, none that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. Hmm. Item in your hand. So what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this. I found it yesterday. Oh, where? Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Accept it. Alright, well, if you really want to give it to me. He he, you look like a child at a, at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one too. Her mother, probably. Black key added to the court record. Black key, an old steel key. A green jewel is set in the center of the key's grip. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. Oh. But I can't accept something like this. Give it back. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. What the hell? Spiritual energy? Oh. Charged. Oh. Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. What the hell? See people's secrets? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Alright. Now she's, she's chilling out with me. Okay. Well, you know who's hiding a secret. Freaking this lady. June 20, Fay Manor side room. Hello? Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Ah, she's like totally cool, cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No. How old do you think I am? She thinks I'm old. She thinks I'm very old, obviously. Uh, nothing. I present to you a slightly translucent radiate softly with mysterious light, Maya's Megatama. Wow, it's a Megatama. Aw, you shouldn't have. It's so totally not for you. Hey, like, it's not nice to pick me out like that. That should be my line of thing. What about this key? Old steel key, green jewel is set in the center of the key. Switch, black key. Okay, I'm really sorry, I don't know she doesn't want it. Okay, she doesn't know what it is. It's updated. A channeling prodigy with immense spiritual power. Okay. Let's talk. The victim. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. Oh. Okay, get chained up and locked. Holy hell. Ah, what is that? Huh? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. Huh? What? This is the power of the Megatama. Only you can see this psyche lock. Mr. Nick. What the hell? Does she mean Maya could have seen this all along? Psyche locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. It's, so if it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock. 
I have no idea what she's talking about, but guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. What the hell? If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this psyche lock thing a try. Okay, it's got a big old lock on it. So I need to, it's like a, it's like a testimony, right? We have to give proof that she's lying. Had a malpractice incident, murder during a channeling. Two span of the occult, doing business in parapsychology. I'm going to ask you again. Did you know Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. Got her. Locked up. Get locked up. This girl is hiding something. I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. Alright, so first I have to use Maya's Magatama. Girl is hiding something, I'm sure of it. Oh, I guess we just use it straight on her. I have no choice but to remove this lock. First, use the Magatama. Hmm. What do I do with this? Present it to her? Oh, take that, okay. The victim. Inni Mini, I do believe you I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like how many times do I like have to repeat myself? If you are like so totally sure, then where's like your proof? While it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility existed for now. So something that shows a possible connection between Eni and Dr. Gray This newspaper report? Here is your proof. Like, what is that? Ouch, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay, and it just hurts. Okay, I'm just gonna load back. Pearls did warn you. Warn me, if you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. If I don't have enough evidence, I should probably stop. I should take another look at the court record and think it through one more time. Bad out again person. Indirectly. Can I not stop? I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues and try again. Okay, so I can just go back. I see. Well, load me back for now. Let's, let's try and find some evidence. The meditation room. June 20, Fay Manor Meditation Room. Is mother here? No, Gumshoe. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. Hmm, she says nothing. Ha ha ha, I'm not scary, honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, hey, I know, I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real genuine pistol. Don't show your pistol to a child. What the hell are you doing? 
Hey, Detective Gumshoe, why? What are you doing? Showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you should show be showing that to a kid. She might just press something or hit you or something. I don't know what kids will do, man. My badge. Hey, look, it's my attorney's badge. Haha, -ha, good one, pal. You're always good for a laugh with your little badge. But a real man, a real man has a police badge. Uh, um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I was wondering if I could see it too. Ah, no, it's okay. It's not that important anyway. Thing. Oh, I'd better shut my mouth. Uh, what? I'm not going to give you any information about evidence, pal. Oh. This? What do you think about this? Hey, that's a pretty nice looking brooch. You should stop wearing that ugly old attorney's badge. And start wearing that, pal. He, he, that detective is so happy. Aren't you happy, Mr. Nick? No. Happy? About what? Newspaper. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day and... Hey, it's that news story. The one about the malpractice suit. Fourteen patients died and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal, this is for you. He's helping me. Alright, thanks. Newspaper clipping 2 added to the court record. Mimi Mimi Miney, nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. Bro, this is insane freaking evidence that you definitely knew him because this is probably your sister. And that means you have motive to kill him. Lady? The nurse that killed the patients ended up getting killed in an accident. Dr. Gray wound up on a lot of tabloid shows because of that. Now, there was a smart man. I'm sure that was a great way to advertise for his clinic. Not really, because he started getting less patients. Aha! Uh -huh. Scaring people off is always the best way to get more patients. And this hole, did you see? Shut my mouth, no information, okay, this key. So about this key. Hey, is that your house key or something, pal? Come on, does this look like a house key to you? Then what's it for? It's... Hmm. Naturally, I should probably keep that a secret. It's my bicycle key. Oh, nothing special, huh? Okay, he doesn't want to give me information. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. We should always show this stuff also. I'm sorry things had to turn out this way, pal. It's too early to give up. No one's proven her guilty of anything yet. Look, even if there were a zillion of you, pal, this is a case you... Sigh. Now, why is he sighing? You can't win. This is the victim. I don't have anything to tell you about this one, pal. You don't have to be so mean about it. Not a word. Hmm. Uh, hey, don't look at me like that. That girl has one intense stare. Go. Alright, what about her? Oh, so that's Little Pearl. Do you know her? Only that Miss Faye was looking for her earlier. Something about being worried that she'll end up talking to that the weird guy, that's me. So, you have any idea who this weird guy is, pal? Nope, not a clue. It's, it's me. 
That's Maya's aunt, right? I got to eat one of her giant strawberry desserts earlier. It was really good. Oh, I didn't get to eat one yet. She knows I'm well, that Maya thinks, or that maybe I am. Who knows? That Ma Maya's boyfriend, whatever it be. Morgan Faye is not happy about it. Claims to be a mystery photographer. Anything to tell about that? Uh, you. Boy, do I look scary in this picture? Not really. I guess if I want people to stop thinking cops are scary, I have to change myself. Got a smile, got a smile. There's that classic gumshoe goofy smile again. Okay, and then this one. Anything? Okay. Mini miney. This is mini miney. This is mini miney. Okay, great. Well, Maya's guilt. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got proof? Yeah, pal, that puffy haired photographer is going to, uh, going to testify tomorrow. Must be talking about Lotta. Actually, speaking of Lotta, I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember, I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Two pictures, yeah. Lotta's hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. Oh. Hmm. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? The victim. About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Hmm. Huh? I could have sworn I had cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. You gave it to me. He's searching through his pockets and boy, are those big. It looked really interesting too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I do. You gave it to me. I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Yeah, I showed it to him. Tomorrow's trial. About Maya's trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So, which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright pal, well the prosecutor for the trial tomorrow is Prosecutor Von Karma. He should be in freaking jail bro, he murdered two people. What? Von Karma? Manfred won karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. Never lost a case in the 40 years of his career and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. He murdered two people, bro. Why is he not in jail? Wait a sec. But didn't want karma stand trial and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. Oh, the one karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? Who's successor? So, um, who is this successor to one karma? Literally, pal, it's prosecutor one karma's kid. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm, 
kid, huh? Uh, wait a second. Th 13. The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13. I mean, a prodigy like that, I would have heard something about. Oh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country has got a lot of stuff and is a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh, still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. But... Stop it! Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix. None of that matters anymore. Now that he's gone. Back. So I showed him this clipping, right? Uh, right, okay. Oh. Is anyone in here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. So I guess we just gotta break the lock. Corner. That's about it. Okay. Is anyone out here? Not that I can see. All right. There's only one more thing to do. Is has to break our lock. Take me to the meditation room. Take me through the winding way. Take me to the side room. Hello, lady. Get a Magatama. Get chained up. The victim. Eeny miny. I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you are, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? While it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that pos the possibility existed for now. Hmm, so something that shows a possible connection between Eni and Dr. Gray. Uh, literally, Mini Miney. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Miney. Miney is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? No. Oh. So you noticed, she, she was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister, was she a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Hmm? No. Gray's surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Oh, the lock is broken. Unlock successful. Now tell me. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My my sister's name was Mimi Miney. She looks a lot meaner than you. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people, like a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally wiped out, cause 
she was overworked wiped out so is that why she fell asleep at the wheel that guy like drove my sis so hard so like that's why the accident happened the one where 14 patients died from malpractice yeah like i think that was the doctor's fault too my sis was pushed by like everyone's expectations and like her duties and stuff and that pushed her to her death oh i'm sorry so like are we done i have like already told my story to like everyone including her do you understand now mr nick this is how a cycle clock works well i don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless i absolutely need to it is pretty useful though the lock this time was pretty easy but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on if you don't have enough proof be careful and know when to stop trying oh and she she's just gone he's like goodbye i'm out all right move me out of here going on here there's something going on in the garden there's probably an entrance into the meditation room or into the the other room you know what i mean did it update her court record college student researching para psychology older sister mimi died in a car accident mimi mine disease died in a car accident 1 year ago was ini's older sister nurse at dr grace clinic do you know her What about her updated record? Nothing. Okay. In the chamber now. Nothing. Back out in the village. Oh, here's something. June twenty, Korean village. Mr. Nick. Hmm. What's wrong? I have never left Korean village. Really? Wow, that's uh, pretty amazing. You are going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. And she's gone. Hey, wait. She ran off again. Well, I know any secret now, but I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Huh. Go, go look for her again. All right. First I'm going to have to save and I'll be back in a second probably. All right. So what were we what are we doing? I think we were going to law offices. Uh, probably not. Maybe we got to go talk to her now. We got some information on a suspect, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. June twenty is det a uh, detention center visitors room. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? It's it's Mia. That voice. It is Mia. Yep. Mia. Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. And then she was dead. Mia, she is Maya's older sister and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I am in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Spirit form. 
Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. No. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia. You can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But, but. So, tell me all about it. I am going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. Alright, tell her the whole story. It's a long one. I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? Hmm. It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is, tell me, please, cut and run. Oh, believe in your convictions, okay. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. What else is going on here? Nothing. How are you? Nothing. I present to you my attorney's badge. Mia. Chuckle. Wow, this badge brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? I'm not gonna chuckle on camera. I would love to stand with you at the defensive bench one more time. Mia. Alright, and the map. Could you take a look at this? Is that really all you have, Phoenix? There's no time left. Try to show me something that will help you in tomorrow's trial. Alright, the Magatama. This is Maya's Magatama, isn't it? Why do you have it? Maya gave it to me, but... I see. This is something very important to me. Take good care of it, okay? Looking at it with a soft look in her eyes. Hmm. A newspaper clipping one. One year ago on May 2nd, 14 patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Take a look at this. That's all you have. There's no time left. What about the hole in the folding screen? No? Okay, what about the old steel key? Yeah, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key. Phoenix, listen, right now that key is sitting in your hand. Sure. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts that there is only one key. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. Probably. And then now about Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Grey Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. Oh, okay. Apparently the key is important. That's all she cares about. Ma Mia. Ma Maya. I can't see Maya when I'm in her body like this. But I can tell. She's very lonely and sad. Take good care of her. Will you, Phoenix? I... I will. Alright. This is client. Dr. Turner Gray, age 35. I'm sorry, but I don't remember who that is. What about your cousin? Channeling Prodigy. Pearly, she's really grown up. I left Korean village a long time ago. She probably doesn't remember a thing about me by now. And your aunt. I'm afraid I might have caused Aunt Morgan a lot of stress. When I left Korean, I left Maya in my aunt's care. And now something like this happens. What about a lot of heart? I'm sorry, I don't remember who that is. What about Gumshoe? I've seen this man somewhere before. He had a strange name and I'm almost sure I've questioned him before. 
I remember him making a show of confidence at first. But after 5 minutes, he breaks down and... You end up feeling bad for the poor guy. Yeah, that, that's him. Eeny miny. You don't remember who that is. Eeny miny. And what about you? M Mia Fey deceased. Maya's older sister. She was a top-notch lawyer and my mentor and friend forever. That's right. I'm already dead. But I feel very grateful to have been born a Fey. So I can talk with you like this. Alright, let's actually talk. Not guilty. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is and I'll give you a hint as to why. Y yes Idioms can't have dreams. Oh, they can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah. Said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A setup? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. Evidence? How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. I it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. R really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. Hmm. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to the case is. That is enough. But, but... How can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have... Hmm. She's gone. I didn't know it at the time, but this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. He's lying. Oh, three locks. But Mia, what? What's wrong? That's right, only I can see the cyclops. Which means... Mia must know something about the real murderer she's hiding in. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key even from me. What in the world is going on? To be continued, okay, it's just, it's just like you'll be done. Save content. Right. Save your progress? Sure, buddy. There you go, save it up. We're in court. June 21st, 9.48 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. What? Prosecutor won karma? You mean, I guess Mia is gone. No, I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? Mm. Manfred won karma was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks, also he could win, right? He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be, just like him. It's no good. Mystic Maya. Pearly, oh she's come. You showed up. Thanks for coming all this way. I was really worried about you. 
Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. He said they have training before two days straight with no breaks. Ah, huh? then, then you came all by yourself. Is the mother the murderer? I don't know. Yep, I snuck out of the manor and followed a map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not. I ran. Oh god. That's... I can't. Oh my. If it takes two hours by train. Oh man. Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a train? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if one karma tries to do something to me? Do something. At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than one karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who is that? Um, he's Nick's rival. Well, he's also a friend. Objection! Objection? Oh. I still remember him as though I had seen him only yesterday. Objection! Every trial was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end. Yeah. Objection! Objection! It was always back and forth with them, but when you're rivals for life... Maya! Please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm... I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. Don't know what? Oh. He... He's... He's gone. And he's not coming back. What? W -w wait Wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Hmm. Let's go. Now is not the time to talk about that anyway. Uh, Nick? And we're in court. June 21st, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 2. Oh, female? Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? Oh, she is. <laughs> he says nothing. What is with this kid? Ahem, Mr. Wright, are you prepared? Huh? Ah, uh, ah, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh. Must be a little shocked because I am a woman, correct? Hold on, so she is the famed successor to Prosecutor One Karma? I am friend... Franzika von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. She has a whip. Revenge? Is this about her father, Manfred von Karma? Yeah, because I beat him. Um, if it's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can... Oh, great, she whipped him. I'm talking. If you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. Really, this is allowed? Please speak with your mouth like a normal person. I beg of you. Yow! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix, right? Prosecutor Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate. That is perfection. Defendant Maya Fay will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. One second. Alright, I'm gonna have to end it here, unfortunately. Because of time today. Well, I'll see you in the next one. When we crash one karma, probably not this one, but soon, soon. <laughs>